Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Philly cheese steak casserole. All right, I'm starting out here in my large frying pan. I'm going to put a little bit of cooking oil in there. Only about two tablespoons because this is lean hamburger. And I'm going to put in two and a half pounds of 80-20 lean hamburger. And you're saying, well, this is cheese steak. So you use a hamburger. Well, think about what hamburger is. Just think about it. And I'm going to brown this up. My ground beef is browned, and I'm going to add to that roughly a teaspoon of salt. And yes, Tina, my hands are clean. That's a little over a teaspoon, but that's fine. And about a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. All right, I'm going to give this a stir. I have a 9 by 13 baking uh, pan here that I sprayed with some cooking uh, oil. I'm just going to dump this hamburger mixture right in there. Okay, now in the same frying pan, I'm going to throw in about two tablespoons of margarine or butter. I'm using margarine. Put a little more in there. And I'm going to add in two green peppers that I sliced into strips and get them started a while because they take the longest cook out of all, all my vegetables. Alright, my green peppers are about halfway where I want them. I'm going to add in two large sliced onions and let them cook for a while. Stirring them in. Alright, my peppers and onions are almost done. I'm going to add in two large chopped uh, cloves of garlic. Fry this in for a little bit. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right in this baking pan on top of the ground beef. Out evenly. And I have six slices of provolone cheese. This calls for eight, but my kid Gray couldn't stay out of this. So I'll make six work. You're not supposed to put mushrooms in this, sliced mushrooms. But I got orders from the kids. If I put mushrooms in, they're not eating. So we're going to have to make it without it this time. All right, I have a plate here that I lightly floured. And I have a can of biscuits. They can find in your cooler section. I'm going to flatten these out to about five inches across. And I'm going to lay them right on top of this casserole. Okay, I have all my biscuits on top. Now I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for a half hour to 40 minutes until the biscuits are golden brown and then it'll be time to take that out. Alright, I just took this out of the oven. It took a little under a half hour, about 28 minutes. So let's plate this up and see what we got. Alright, there you have it. Philly cheesesteak casserole. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see ya.